Hello and welcome to the most boring customization GNOME video, ever! Thing is, I'm only changing a few items, there's not even a point to share, but I'll do anyway because I keep getting this question, and I haven't uploaded such guide, um, like never? So, are you ready? Let's do this already! That's one of my favorites configurations really, YouTube Sans for Apps, classic! And I recently started to use Fantastic Sans with Nerds Fonts patches on Terminal. I change as little as two shortcuts. First, I replace Switch applications with Switch Windows, that basically makes Alt-Tab to switch only between windows on the current workspace. The other I'm doing, is to add a shortcut for toggling applications in full screen, and I set this to Super in F11. That's particularly useful not only for games, but even for applications like Blender that saves you space by hiding the title bar, although I'm not sure if it also enables a direct scan out. Only one really, and that's just perfection. I'm using it to hide the top panel from desktop mode, and I only keep it visible to overview state. On overview I have also supersized the workspace's thumbnails, and I've hidden the search input that still works if we start typing. By the way, this is a new Fedora Rawhide installation, so I hadn't the time to set everything up. But sometimes I set more extensions like Blur My Shell and some more. Yet, I've completely stopped using the indicators. I think background app's doing a very good job. I'm not using online accounts, and to be honest they are a bit unreliable too, and another thing I'm not using is search providers. The idea feels good but the implementation feels a bit off, so I prefer to keep my overview for opening apps and settings only. Originally I created a Steam folder outside my home because Flatpak Steam can't access home for privacy considerations. But then, I realized this is actually a super way to organize your stuff, because the actual home very soon becomes an enormous mess. And definitely the two best things you can do in your GNOME is to install a good Linux shell, in my case is power level 10k, and a good CLI editor. And I think Helix will be the last text editor I will use in my life. Next logical step is to transplant a chip in my brain and success singularity with the machines. That's something for the KDE users and the Almighty Plasma. That is on version 458, and still can't crop the avatar image on user accounts. Ha! And so that was everything, quite disappointing as I promised you, but I just don't do much.